Hello everyone, well I wanted to take a look back again at a program that I looked at back in 2019, the Glimpse Image Editor. Uh, this came about as a fork to the GNU Image Manipulation Program, GIMP, because the name GIMP is perhaps a little problematic. If you're an English speaker, although if you're a non-English speaker you may not realise that its name does mean something else. It is quite evident if you look at search engine results, although it's not immediately obvious because search engines do realize you're on about the image manipulation program, or perhaps want to shield you from other results maybe. Yeah, uh, and this is with the, um, what do they call it on DuckDuckGo, it's the safe search off. So safe search is moderate, you actually get something else a, a little bit sooner. <laughs> so and this is a similar story over on the Google as well. Anyway, I discussed the project back in 2019 and I left it alone and realistically I was going to leave it alone but this video does receive quite a bit of interest still so I wanted to close the book on the entire subject. So I'll just cite the source in this video but uh, I wanted to look back at the original page here but it's gone so I just have to read off the video. So it's from one of the GIMP developers and it just stated that contributors to Glimpse have never been GIMP contributors in the first place. They aren't known in the GIMP community and they don't seem to have any experience in programming digital content creation software. So there's no real fragmentation so far. And they spent a couple of weeks trying to work out if they're the real deal. And uh, and it was clear that uh, it was a bit of conflict in how they talk about Glimpse and how they actually treated GIMP. Yeah, they really were two different things. But anyway, he stated that if you're among the haters of Glimpse, please consider leaving them alone and letting them give it their best shot. Likewise, you're not getting anywhere by annoying GIMP developers. So yeah, I took a quick look at it in this video, the point one release that is, which was just a slight rebranding of GIMP, uh, what would that be, uh, 2.10? Uh, yeah, so there wasn't really much to see in this video. It really was a rebranding. And the work continued on to point 2.2 .2 version of Glimpse. So really only two versions further. In fact, this version wasn't even released, so they made it one version further. So this was back in February 2021. So the lead developer, Bobby Moss, departs the project. So Bobby Moss, Treknex, is one of the Glimpse project founders and has been lead developer on the fork up to this point. He's left the project at the request of his employer and provided a parting statement. So I would like to thank everyone that has supported and contributed to Glimpse Image Editor over the past 20 months. We've built the Glimpse project to be resilient and changed and bigger than any one person. It is fair to say that what we've achieved has exceeded my expectations and I encourage our community to help the remaining contributors continue to support the users with patches and begin development of Glimpse NX. So yes, uh, there was a couple of other developers remaining, but although they were at quite a fair few downloads, and I can look at some of the statistics later on in the video, and they're also receiving quite a few donations, but what they weren't, weren't really receiving was actual input on the work of development. And that's where it seems to have fallen down, really. And I did want to try and find out where Bobby Moss was working, why the conflict of interest existed, because it seemed quite uh, quite weird, really. I, I wondered if it was actually like Adobe or something. <laughs> actually working for Adobe Photoshop, then it would make sense that there was a conflict of interest. But uh, it does appear to be Oracle. So interesting that. I don't know how often this occurs really with employers actually preventing employees working on open source projects. Um, my employer is not bothered about the work I do on my projects. So <laughs> yeah, anyway, uh, I did want to check a couple of sources to confirm it is actually Oracle. So although I'm not looking at the LinkedIn profile, we've got Treknex, that is his uh, username. And we also have yeah, Bobby Moss, Treknex, one of the Glimpse project founders. And I think that's one just there as well. The project creator, Bobby Moss, who works at database giant Oracle as a technical writer. So yeah, we've got literally three different things stating there. It is likely to be Oracle. So yes, uh, work on GIMP did continue. So yeah, they were using the 2.10.10, I think initially, and moved to the 2.10.18 for their 0.2 release. So they were a bit behind. And inevitably that led to the project being on hiatus, which was announced earlier this week, or dated May the 23rd, 2021. They tried citing the ongoing pandemic as being like the 
main reason here, but uh, yeah, I do say by the second half of 2020, there was just me, Bobby Moss, and a couple of external contributors working on the fork itself. However, remaining project contributors were occupying with trying to start the UI rewrite called Glimpse NX as we had previously planned. Our problem was not lack of financial contributors or users because the project was still growing in those areas. Our main issue was that we could not find contributors willing to step up and help with non-code tasks like moderating communication channels, triaging bugs, fixing packaging problems, working with the GNU image manipulation program contributors, monitoring our social media accounts, running servers, testing documents, new releases, and answering questions that users reached out to us with. As a result, we struggled with the scale of the project to match the increase in demand. Yeah, perhaps people may not realize that uh, <laughs> maintaining the sort of social media side and other side of virtual programs is quite a lot of work. And I completely fail in that area. In fact, I, in fact I'm sure I struggle with time in general. But yeah, if you spend all your time helping users, then you're not advancing your own program. The yeah, number of gaps had to fill it by August 2020 turned the, working on the project into an unpaid part-time job for me in addition to my paid full-time job. People have to eat and free open source software doesn't necessarily pay a huge amount. You have limitations on how much time you can work on things. I appreciate that. I had so much support work to manage I rarely had enough time to actually work on the fork itself. Just as I was thinking there. So yeah, they've made progress towards Glimpse 0.2.2, but never actually released it. Kind of it really, just lack of contributors to help in the other areas of the project. So Glimpse Image Editor have been downloaded at least 86,000 times across all platforms. And they did produce a financial summary. But that is the state of the project on GitHub. The project, the project has been archived, so it's just in a read-only state. Now, it's a shame we do need more good open source software. Well, I'm not really sure this was it, being just a clone of an existing open source application. Although, what can we really complain? We have many different distros that are just clones of each other. So perhaps there was a market for this. And yeah, they weren't short on the download figures. So there were quite a lot of users. But that's just how things go sometimes. Well, thanks for watching. I'll see you all later.